Hey, it's the Shane Point to the Word. Uh, this is Testimony Part 11, and should be the last one. Uh, last time we were talking about how an individual will change um, once that person is like born again. Um, so, yeah, so a lot of things that I was doing are now changing. And uh, now I have, you know, a son that's growing up. Um, and my grandma has now passed away, but she did get to see my son, which I was very happy about. And um, I think I mentioned earlier how in the past I had always like bud heads with my wife, like 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 prior to having a kid, because I knew that you know she would want to raise him a certain way, and I'd be like, okay, you know, whatever, like you teach him or her. I don't want anything to do with it. Uh, like teaching, you know, the Bible or God or anything. So, you know, now I'm like, you know, you do that, you know, by yourself. And that was back then. And so one, uh, one of the couple of verses that convicted me, um, cause I always knew that I'd butt heads with my wife on that is, uh, I got a verse pulled up in Matthew chapter 18. This is Jesus talking and it's verses five and six. And it says, and who... Uh, whoever shall receive one such little child in my name receives me, but who's, uh, whoever shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were, uh, was drowned in the depth of the sea. And so it's basically saying how, you know, it'd be better if you were never born than to offend one of my little ones. So that was like a huge conviction for me because I knew that hey you know i'm you know what i mean like i could take you know jesus or the bible or you know what i mean like away from my kid or you know ridicule it you know what i mean like just anything like just belittle you know the whole bible god jesus thing for my kid and that verse like really convicted me um because you know if all this was true then I would be offending one of Jesus's little ones. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, as in my kid. And so that was like a huge thing. Um, and basically what the rest of this video is all about is, you know, teaching, you know, uh, my wife and I like teaching our kids. And so, um, yeah, so that was a huge conviction. And so um, I think that was a seed that was planted in me. And now, like since like God's perfect timing, um, like, you know what I mean? Like I was saved the year my kid was born. And so, um, you know, I, I'm teaching them like Bible verses and stuff, which, you know what I mean? That wouldn't have happened. And, and I think it was also God's perfect timing in, um, it's, you know, hard, hard and strange to say, but in that miscarriage too, because like, um, y you think about it, like, that miscarriage was about probably three, four years before I was saved. So, you know what I mean? That's like three or four years of me, you know, impacting a kid negatively. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know the, you know, I, I don't know everything, you know, why everything happens. But I, that just kind of dawned on me that, hey, you know, maybe it was for the best kind of thing. So, yeah, now I'm, you know, saved and the same year my kid was born and you know i'm teaching my kid bible verses he knows like i think 12 or something like that so yeah he knows a lot of bible verses now now it's you know the knowledge is there but just basically you know breaking it down and you know you know teaching them what it means and stuff like that but yeah i, I want to you know a lot of parents want to give their kids what you know what we never had or a better life than you know what i mean so like, I didn't understand this stuff when I was young, and, yeah, I want my kid to know, you know, a lot more, so, yeah, I, I, you know, we're trying, and I, I, I just praise God that, yeah, I was saved when I was, so, you know, that we can teach him stuff, so, yeah, I think I'll, uh, do one more story on this, and then, you know, wrap it up, um, so, there was, uh, an incident last year, um, you know, and it's a teaching moment basically. So, um, 
my family and I went to uh, Menards because we went to get um, like some uh, a lot of materials to build like a, a cabinet, uh, like um, or I'm sorry, shelving and stuff. And so we, um, I, I was uh, had in the cart, and we were all done shopping. We're outside, and we're about to you know, put everything in the car, and so. I take like this huge like metal shelving thing and I'm like backing up with it and about to put it in the car and here I, I like angle it wrong and it scratches the car next to us and like it's like a br <laughs> almost a brand new car and there's kids in the back and um, I don't see anyone in front and so like old me was like oh let's go <laughs> you know what I mean like um, but like I, I I mean, and I didn't think that, like, as weird as that sounds, I'm, I'm just saying how, like, old me would have absolutely gone, you know, thought of that and gone with that, but, like, since, you know, being saved, like, I, I'm a different person, and like, because of Jesus, you know what I mean, like, years ago, this went to happen, so I'm crediting Jesus here, and so immediately... You know, I think of, okay, let's do the right thing. Um, you know, sucks, I don't want to, but, uh, you know, my family's there, so I get the rest of the materials in. And so, um, we're, I'm just waiting, well, our whole family is waiting for the, like, adult to, um, you know, find her vehicle, and I want to talk to him about it. And so, um, and this story is not, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't tell this story to boast, um, only boast in Jesus. Uh, here like that's the reason I want to do it and also um, Because it, it's good to you know give these lessons to our kids too and that, that, that you know, that's basically I, I'm trying to you know before after kind of thing, you know, what I mean so uh, and the the parents eventually come out and um, They seem to be like staying there sort of like, you know, kind of like cautiously approaching their car I'm like, you know, hey guys, you know, I, 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 I'm really sorry, but, you know, we've been waiting here uh, to uh, you know, wait for you guys um, because I actually scratched your car. And so they come out, you know, see the damage and, um, you know, long story short, they, you know, we exchange numbers and stuff and, you know, I end up paying for their, you know, damages. But, you know what I mean? Like, I could, you know I mean? like, before or after, it's such a major difference. And now... Like, I taught my kid, you know, my wife and I taught our kid that, hey, you know, you should always do the right thing. You know, what's right and wrong here? And also, you know, we can teach them about conscience. Like, I remember having a conscience when I was a kid. And that was honestly, like, you know, seared. Like, it was, you know, year after year, numb. Like, I, I became more numb to it. And I didn't want to, you know, follow through and do the right thing. I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. So, you know, these are good examples we can teach our kids. But, you know, we got to be there first. Like, we have to, you know, be saved. And, you know, we, we got to understand these things before we can teach our children. So I, I just want to give that story to, you know, boast in Jesus. And also, you know, hey, you know, th there are examples out there that we can teach our kids. So, um yeah, and, and there's so much change, like, and it, it's daily, you know what I mean? Like, you know, stick with your Bible, you know, read the Word, and, you know, you, you will change. And, you know, we'll stumble, and, you know, that's to be expected. But the difference is, instead of, you know, making excuses and, you know, like, stumble further, you know, the, the difference is now it's, you know, boom, you know, repent and pray to God, you know what I mean? Like, tell him what you did wrong, you know, and that you can always, you know, it's like a father, son, you know, or, you know what I mean? Like father, daughter kind of thing situation where, you know, the kid does something wrong, you know, there's a good response and a bad response. Like you can either hide it or you can be honest and be humble about it and go to the father. So all right, well, that wraps up uh, my testimony. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you guys have learned something from this, and, you know, hopefully you guys are saved already or, you know, will get saved, and, you know, then you can pass on to your children. And what I mean by that is, you know, teach them and, 
you know, about Jesus and, you know, how they can be saved because, like, just because, you know, you guys are saved doesn't mean that your children, you know, automatically become saved. You know, that's an individual thing. But yeah, I'll leave it with the gospel for um, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and rose again the third day. And this isn't by works, lest any man boast. And having humility is very important in all this. So, again, have a good day, guys.